Hey everyone, it's That Math Magician. On this video, we're gonna take a look at some algebra tiles. You see them all across my desk here. We're gonna see how algebra tiles are actually a very helpful tool for us when we are solving equations, um, simplifying expressions, even when we get to quadratic equations and functions. Algebra tiles are our best bet to helping us solve. And you'll notice that there are lots of different shapes here. And we have our algebra tile kit here, which we are going to fill out so that we can give a name to all of these algebra tiles here. And you'll notice that some are smaller, some are more square shaped, and then also you'll have some that are rectangular shaped. And what we're gonna do is we need to give these all a name and talk about their perimeter and their area so that we can figure out why their, their shapes have these names. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to clear out these extra ones here. And we're gonna start with our first algebra tile here. It is this guy right here. You'll notice that he fits right at the top there. This is what we call our unit tile or our one tile. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and write this down real quick underneath it here. This is what we call the unit tile. We call this the unit tile because the side lengths on the unit tile are all one. So we measure the side lengths of all of these sides as a length of one. And that's why it's the unit tile, one unit. Now, if I wanted to name this, we said it's called the unit tile. We also could call it the one tile. I'm gonna throw a one in there. Why am I putting a one there? Well, that's the area. And remember, area of any rectangle or square is just the sides multiplied, right? Base times height. So one times one gives us one. That is our unit tile right there. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next algebra tile. And that is this guy right here. Now, I already know what some of you are thinking. Maybe we can measure how long this tile is. I mean, we can definitely measure this length, right? The left length there. That is a length we can measure because we already know that this length here is one unit. So that means this length here would also have to be one unit. So when I put this over here where it needs to go on our tile kit, I know that this side and this side are both one unit long. Now the question is, how many units long is this rectangular tile? Now if I get my unit tile here and I go ahead and start putting them on the top, we can see if we'll end up with a nice whole number answer for this length. And we see I can easily fit three, but some of you are probably gonna figure it out already. I cannot fit another tile there, right? Look at that, it's overhanging here. There's actually no way for us to know how long this top length is for this rectangular tile. So since we don't know the length of this, I mean, it definitely looks like three point something, right? Maybe six, 3.7. But since we don't know that length, we're just going to give it a variable length. And we're gonna say that the length of this top side that we don't know, we're gonna call it X. The bottom is also going to be called X. And this is what we actually call our X tile. We call it the X tile because when I get the area of this rectangle, base times height, X times one, one times X gives us X. This guy right here is the X tile. And it's the X tile because we don't know how long this top length is. There's actually no way of knowing, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move on to this square here. It definitely does look like a square. I gotta go ahead and bring that on over here. You'll notice that these are the same color. There's a reason why they're the same color. And it's because this length here of X is actually the same length for our square. Notice that when I put this guy in our spot right there, this distance that was X up there is also the same distance for the top side. And it is also the same distance for the right side. And since it's a square, we know the squares that all sides have the same length. That bottom side is also an X. The left side is an X as well. If I wanna name this tile, well, we can name it by finding its area. Remember, multiply the sides, X times X, that gives us X squared. This here is our X squared tile that's actually made up of two X tiles. Look at how they create, kinda like that little border there for it. I can grab a couple more here and throw it on there too so you could see, right? These X tiles 
form a border around our x squared tile because every length here is x. And when we take that x times x, we end up with our x squared tile. So perfect. We are doing good so far. Now I'm going to shift over here now to this other rectangle here. You'll notice that we have another rectangle here. It's our purple rectangle. And that guy nicely fits in right there. But what you'll notice is, is that this tile and our x tile are not the same length, right? This, this new tile, this purple tile is a lot longer than our blue tile. And I mean, hopefully we can already see, I definitely can't fit two X's on there, right? That length is not two X's at all. Maybe I can throw in an X and maybe throw in some ones. Maybe some unit tiles will fit it. Ooh, maybe it'll fit. Oh, no, it looks like, again, it's overhanging, right? It's overhanging right there. So it's definitely not X plus two. But let's see this. What if I take these unit tiles and sort of line them up on the top here? Maybe it'll fit for this one. And uh-oh, unfortunately, I'm not seeing any way for us to figure out the length of that side right there. Now we can definitely find the length of this shorter side, right? Look, it's matching up just like it did with our X tile. That distance is still gonna be one, but that top side and that bottom side, I actually have no way of knowing how long that is, but I can't call it X, right? I already used my X variable over there. So since I don't know the length for this new tile here, I'm just gonna label it Y, a different variable, Y. So we're actually gonna call this our Y tile. And you'll notice that now we have two different variable rectangles here that sort of help us see two different lengths. We don't know what each one is. So we just call one X, call one Y. Don't forget our little unit tile up there as well. Now, what we did here for the X squared tile, we can do the same thing for what's gonna be called our Y squared tile. Cause look, that distance on the top is going to be Y. The distance on the right side is still going to be Y. Distance on the bottom, still Y. And you probably can guess it, distance on the left is also Y. So when I'm trying to figure out what the name is, multiply the sides, Y times Y, we end up with Y squared. This is our Y squared tile. We are doing really, really good. All right, there's only one more left here. Actually, what I'm gonna do for this, I'm gonna kind of move these away so we can see all the nice names that we have. We have our unit tile, X tile. I forgot to mention this. This is our Y tile. We got our Y squared, our X squared. Last but not least, I gotta grab this green one right here, our green tile. Now, I can try to gather some unit tiles, but as we'll see in a second, I don't think I can use unit tiles to measure the left side. Nope, a little overhang there. I could again try to do it on the top, but if I think when I do the top, I'm gonna come across the same issue we did with the left side. Unfortunately, they're not gonna line up perfectly. So while it looks like maybe that distance is almost six, it's not all the way six. So what I can do though, is if I steal this little X tile here, we notice that the X tile fits perfectly on the left side. It fits perfectly on the right side as well. And then if I grab this Y tile, we notice that the Y tile fits on the top. It's also going to fit on the bottom. That means the left and right sides both have a distance of X and the top and bottom sides both have a distance of Y. Now the question is, what are we gonna call this tile here? Well, remember back here, we called this the X, because X times one gave us X. This guy was X squared, X times X is X squared. So when I come to this guy, I'm gonna multiply the two sides, X times Y, those don't really combine. So we'll just call it our XY tile. That is our XY tile, and that is our final piece for our algebra tiles here. I wanna recap real quick. We got our unit tile, one's going all the way around. We then have our X tile here, one's on the side, but X's for the other two sides. There's our Y tiles, one on the sides, Y's on both top and bottom. We take those two tiles, use them both for either sides of these squares, 
to create our new square. We got our x squared tile here. We have our y squared tile here. Last but not least down here, we take the x, we take the y. I'm going to scoot them down here real quick. We line them up like that to create this new green rectangle, which is our x, y tile. This is just an introduction video for our algebra tiles. And you're going to see in the next couple of videos how we can use these to actually help us solve equations and expressions by just using these simple tiles. It's That Math Magician, and I'll see you on the next video.